Hey guys, it's uh, Monday evening. I am tired as hell and incapable of doing anything properly good for humanity. So I figured I'd give a spare parts Persia a bit more love. Gonna change those spark plugs for once. I tore out of the proper Persia a few days ago. Uh, these have like 10 facing case on them. Thinking these probably have at least three times that. And we'll have a look at the plugs and see how they're getting along. Uh, proper channel news going on. Got the new camera on its way. Should be here tomorrow or Thursday, hopefully. It could also be here Wednesday, but I'm going to be at work all day moving about so I won't be able to collect it even if it does arrive, sadly. But I don't mind, I will be preoccupied riding a ferry once again. At least this time I'll be getting paid for it. <sighs> so, let's just have a look at what good old all 485 has to offer. Have a look, I even got a fancy new tripod head to go with a new camera. If that ain't dedication, I don't know what is. Look at those butter smooth pants. Let's see if I can figure this out. On you go. And now even stabilization is on, so it's gonna look like trash. But yeah, that's the stuff. Let's just get some plugs out of this thing. Oh, well, that one wasn't even tightened in properly. That, that was like finger tight. That could have even been causing compression issues. Looking kind of crusty. Not too bad though. But this thing has most assuredly seen more kilometers than the plugs in the other Persia. Champion. This thing looks so old. This thing looks so old. Let's just have a quick comparison to one of the old Peugeot plugs. So, this here is the one of the spare parts. This is one out of the proper Peugeot. Yeah. Proper Peugeot has quite a bit less residue on it. Looks a fair bit cleaner. Also seems to have quite considerably smaller gap there. Yeah, that is a big difference. I do not think those gaps are in the same league. Focus on something other than my beard. Ah, yeah, that's this. There's a considerable difference. So, perhaps this will remedy the misfire. And suitably tight. One handed. Oh, perfect. Hmm, I just got to plug number three. It seems to be a bit wetter than the others. The others really had. Nothing quite of interest going on, but this one, perhaps some oil leakage. It mostly just smells of petrol though, so I think it might have been a bit flooded when I was starting it to drive a three meters to get it over here. Probably nothing to worry about. Number four there. Looks pretty much okay. Nothing too much to complain about. Alright, that's for last time, so 
Let's see how she pairs. the same I'd say. Alright so we still have a few minutes before bedtime see. Let's just have a quick look at the air filter and injector assembly. This is a part I'm actually going to steal for my other Persia, this whole top plastic thing uh, because mine's damaged right around here and it has a minor vacuum leak uh, which could cause issues. These are very convoluted, very fragile plastic pieces, as I have experienced. These engines also have a bit of a design flaw in that there's actually no gasket between the air filter and this plenum thing. As you can see, it's just entirely loose there. But you can optionally add a hose clamp, as these people have done. But uh, from the factory, this, uh, this whole thing is just placed on top of the air filter with nothing in between. Which I'm thinking has probably caused a premature death for many of these engines. Let's see if we can get this off the bank. Killing it. And we're in. So the injector assembly does look rather clean, it has a tendency to grease these uh, o-rings up on its own. Now that's fine. I do not mind that. Butterfly valve looks excellent. This uh, whole thing is pretty much factory trimmed and it seems to be in decent working order. Nothing wrong there at all, I would imagine. And we do have an air filter. Let us let us inspect its condition. This is supposed to pull out easily. In practice, it does not. Ugh, yuck! That's rather rather awful. Sheesh. This thing sort to of cause some pressure up. 0295. It's rough for manufacture date. It bloody well could be. This thing, wow, it's no good, but at least we have you no know, leaks. So it has done its job, but uh, it's going to have had a tendency to suck air from around this poor gasket rather than through the filter, which is a bit of a downside. But at least, yeah. I don't think it's caused too much, whoa, <laughs> too much of an issue. I have found, however, a bit of a cho choke point, as we seem to have a bit of an infestation in there. Look at that. Those bugs have had a rather comfortable time burrowing away. So I'm going to have to clean this up at some stage, or just not bother, since this thing isn't to be driven. Uh, you know, I might almost steal this thing that it's out. Hmm. Alright, so I decided not to steal any parts for today, since I actually need the Persia to get to work early tomorrow. So, I'm just going to have to thank you for watching this little update -y thing, filler, whatever. If you want to support the new camera, do check up the Indiegogo. Cheerio! Alas, rather sadly, the misfire's not gone. That's an odd issue. Up for the grand finale. Two not really perfectly running Peugeot 205s. King of kind of working Peugeot 205s. Out of a two though. 
I must, I must say that the red one does seem to run a bit, bit less bad. Because it is not stuttering at all as much of that one.